then we are here doing a simple Daddy. do you hear that we are here doing a backdrop frame setup with a 10 by 10 black metal backdrop frame that I just got in the mail today and then we are going to attach these wonderful mm, beautiful mm, 20 by 20 inch boxwood panels to the frame and then after that we might add a little signage uh, if we have time, I don't want to make this video too long for you guys, but, uh, stay tuned. We're going to assemble our bases. So the, it's a 10 by 10 frame, but I'm going to show, show you first how to put the, uh, base or the, I guess the stick in there. So I have one base down flat and then I have this base here so I can show you guys how the bottom portion sticks in. So it's basically, there's two of these, there's two of these um, adjustable, I guess legs, I don't know if you wanna call them, um, that look like this. They have these adjustable height levers and the one side is where the uh, crossbar lock is. And the other side is just a stick with a no opening. So that non-opening side is going to go inside your base. And then you have a twisting lock mechanism right here that twists. And then that would keep your leg in your base. And then once you have both of your legs in, the next portion and I'll, I'm going to show you this up close now but um, these two levers right here the one on the bottom helps the stick come out and locks it in place um, so I suggest locking the bottom one first so that way that doesn't come out and then this top one you want to loosen up to get your crossbar lock out so this will come out like this and there's holes and these holes are to attach the silver end right here inside your and it's kind of like um it's op it's a bigger opening at the top than the bottom so then when you um attach it it's gonna slide down and lock in place like that so i just wanted to show you guys that up close so then that way i could put this together Okay, so now I have my backdrop. I put it to where the crossbar is just under 60 inches. Um, because just as a rule of thumb, you want your backdrop, backdrop um, base, whatever the actual picture or panels or whatever you're going to use, you want it to be a little bit longer than your actual stand so that way it camouflages the legs of and crossbar of the stand. So the crossbar, I put it at, I think 58 inches um, because my panels are 20 inches each. So I'm gonna put three panels across the top and then probably about, I don't know, maybe three panels across and like a three by three grid. So um, just so you guys can get an idea of how the backdrop looks and then I'm attaching the backdrop panels to the frame with zip ties. You can use zip ties, you can use wire, um, whatever it is, it has to be sturdy and the zip ties don't have to be green. You can use the clear ones, but I like the green ones and I believe these panels came with zip ties, so I'm using these. Okay, so one thing I want to show you guys um, is when you are attaching 
your panels to your, <clears throat> how do I say this? When you are attaching your panels to your stand, you wanna make sure that if you are using zip ties, you start at the second row um, on the grid. So this would be the top of your panel and then this is the second row. So what I've been doing is, is uh, I guess lacing my zip tie through there and then connecting it. The pole would be right here and then um, and then having the zip tie go around the pole like that. And that secures it, but then also camouflages the pole because it's a little bit higher than the height of the pole because you're starting uh, further down. With these panels is I like to combine them in twos, like how these are two pan, one, two, one, two, and then I would, I'll attach them in the middle. Um, the way you attach them is they have these, um, I guess like hook and loop things right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's one side is a, I guess the opening and then one side is the stick. So you just push that stick through the hole and that attaches the two panels together. So that's how I have the set of two. So I'm going to do that, have my three sets of two and then attach those sets in the middle. time to attach our signs. So I think uh, we have these old baby signs in the TNT store. If you guys are interested for a local rental or purchase, um, they're very affordable, under $20 for shipping. So um, I think I'm gonna go with the, oh, I think I'm gonna go with the gold. Um, because I have another tutorial planned and the gold will fit nicely and that way I just keep the backdrop up for my other tutorial with balloons. So we're going to go ahead and attach the baby sign and that will be our final step y'all. Now the cool thing about these baby signs is even if you don't have a backdrop like this, they come with these awesome um, stickers so you can stick them to the wall um, there's about four double-sided stickers in here so you can stick the stick the sign to the wall or I'm gonna use fishing line because it's clear to attach this to the backdrop and then I'll show you guys the final look assembly of the backdrop stand was easy I really like the sturdiness of it I really like um, I can't wait to actually like use it full out where it's like 10 by 10 but I got my baby sign up so I think it looks awesome and I know it should be centered but since I'm gonna use this for the other tutorial I want to make a balloon garland that cascades down like this so I wanted to leave room for that I didn't want the balloons to cover up the oh baby sign but I think the gold on the green I, I don't know I don't know you guys let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you guys next time